On December 1, 1948 the body of a well-dressed man was found on Somerton Beach, Adelaide, South Australia, he was in good physical condition with no visible signs of trauma, this unusual situation quickly attracted public interest and raised many questions about his identity and how he died, what made the case even stranger was the fact that the man had no identification documents on him. This lack of basic information led to widespread speculation and curiosity as people tried to figure out who he was and what might have happened to him, as investigations progressed the case only grew more puzzling. The mystery of the Somerton man sparked a range of theories, some believed he might have been involved in espionage or had become the victim of a unique crime, over time, the lack of clear answers led to various ideas, from the possibility of a broken romance to secretive activities related to the Cold War. Investigators worked hard to uncover the truth but despite their efforts the man's identity remained unknown for years. A key clue was a piece of paper found in his possession which had the words, Tamam should, written on it, a Persian phrase meaning, it's finished, even with this mysterious clue the case continued to baffle those who studied it. The story of the Somerton man made a lasting impact on Australian culture, his unknown identity and the strange circumstances surrounding his death captured the imagination of the public, the case became a common topic of conversation as people discussed and debated what might have happened to him, even as the years passed and forensic technology improved no definite answers were found keeping the mystery alive. The case continues to intrigue people today. As investigators and the public alike search for the truth behind one of the most enduring unsolved mysteries in Australia's history. On December 1, 1948 a man's body was discovered on Somerton Beach in Adelaide, marking the beginning of one of Australia's longest-running mysteries, at first the case seemed like a routine death but it soon became clear that there were strange details that set it apart from other investigations, the body was found on Somerton Beach, a popular and scenic spot in Adelaide. Early morning beachgoers found the man lying against a seawall with his head and shoulders propped up. Almost as if he had been resting or sleeping, he was well-dressed, wearing a suit and tie which suggested he had been dressed for some kind of occasion, though why he was on the beach remained a mystery, despite appearing in good physical condition his death had an air of mystery that unsettled those involved in the investigation. One of the most puzzling aspects of the case was the absence of identification, the man had no wallet or any form of ID on him, police found items like bus and train tickets in his pockets but all the labels had been removed from his clothing making it harder to determine who he was, this strange detail raised suspicions about the circumstances of his death and it became clear that this wasn't just a simple case. At first police thought the man might have died accidentally or naturally. However, as they gathered more evidence including the lack of identification and the removed clothing labels they realized that something much more complex was going on, this marked the start of decades of investigation and speculation about the identity of the man found on Somerton Beach and the mysterious circumstances that led to his death. The medical examination of the Somerton man revealed several puzzling details with no clear cause of death, 
although there were strong suspicions of poisoning, an autopsy showed significant organ damage which was consistent with poisoning, but the pathologist could only conclude that the man died of heart failure, despite this the specific cause remained unclear. Toxicology tests failed to find any foreign substances in his body even though poisoning was suspected. This lack of evidence only deepened the mystery, leading some to believe that an undetectable poison might have been used, making the case even more difficult to solve, the physical examination of the man added to the intrigue as he was in excellent physical condition, standing 5 feet 11 inches tall and having well-developed calf muscles suggesting an athletic lifestyle. This led to speculation that he might have been involved in physical activities, which aligned with theories that he could have been a spy, the Cold War context heightened this speculation as some believed the strange circumstances of his death, combined with the coded message found in a copy of the Rubaiyat near him pointed to espionage, the possibility of an undetectable poison and the suggestion of spy activity added a dramatic layer to the already mysterious case. More than seven decades later the Somerton man's death remains unsolved leaving behind a trail of suspicion and intrigue that continues to fascinate and baffle investigators. The discovery of a small scrap of paper with the words Tamam should, meaning, it is finished, in Persian became a key piece of evidence in the Somerton Man case, this paper was found in the fob pocket of the man's trousers and was later determined to have been torn from a copy of the Rubaiyat of Omar Khayyam, a book with themes about life and mortality. The presence of this note made the case even more mysterious and drew attention to the meaning behind the man's death, after the autopsy. The police made the details of the note public asking for help in identifying where it came from, this call for information led to the discovery of the original book from which the note had been torn, the book was found in an unlocked car near Somerton Beach, not far from where the body was discovered, inside the book police found not only the missing page but also cryptic writings including a phone number and a series of letters. These markings led to speculation that they might be a code or secret message possibly pointing to the man's involvement in espionage or other covert activities, despite efforts from both the police and experts to decipher these writings their meanings remain unknown. A key element of the case is the discovery of a series of cryptic letters inside a copy of the Rubaiyat of Omar Khayyam, these letters written on the last page of the book have been the focus of countless theories with many believing they represent a cipher or coded message, despite numerous attempts by investigators and cryptographers the meaning behind these letters has never been conclusively deciphered. Adding to the enduring mystery surrounding the man's death, one of the most widely discussed theories is that the Somerton man was involved in espionage possibly linked to Cold War military operations, this idea is supported by the strange circumstances of his death, the presence of coded messages and the timing of the Cold War, a period known for covert activities and intelligence operations. Some analysts believe the letters could reflect the type of sophisticated communication used in espionage, leading to speculation that the Somerton man had a background in military or intelligence work, other researchers have suggested that the letters might be a form of a personal message or mnemonic device, perhaps designed to convey sensitive information in a secretive manner. There is also the possibility that the letters were part of a book cipher or Ottendorf cipher. Methods historically used by spies to communicate coded messages, despite these theories and the considerable efforts of experts to unlock the mystery, the letters remain unsolved, leaving the case open to further speculation. Jessica Thompson, a nurse living near Somerton Beach in 1948 is a key figure in the mysterious case of the Somerton Man, her name became linked to the case when police found her unlisted phone number in the copy of the Rubaiyat of Omar Khayyam, despite this connection Jessica insisted during police interviews that she did not know the man or why he would have her number, however, 
Her demeanor during questioning led some to believe she might have been withholding information. Over time the focus shifted to Jessica's son Robin Thompson, due to his striking resemblance to the Somerton man, Robin shared several rare physical traits with the deceased including a unique ear shape and dental anomalies such as missing incisors, these similarities have fueled speculation that Robin may have been the biological son of the Somerton man, implying a possible secret relationship between Jessica and the unknown man. The rare physical traits shared by Robin and the Somerton man which are found in only about 1% of the population have intrigued geneticists and researchers, leading to further investigation into their potential familial connection. The idea that Jessica may have had a deeper relationship with the Somerton man has become a central theory in the case. As more details about Jessica and her son emerged the case has only grown more complex. Raising questions about identity-human relationships and the unknown dynamics that may have played a role in this unsolved mystery, despite the years that have passed Jessica Thompson's involvement in the Somerton Man case continues to draw interest leaving many to wonder about the true nature of her connection to the man and what secrets she may have taken to her grave. The theory that the Somerton Man was a spy has attracted significant attention, especially considering the Cold War context, the mysterious clues associated with the case and the timing of the events, this theory is further intertwined with the possibility of a tragic romance involving Jessica Thompson suggesting that their relationship might represent a deeper unresolved story filled with loss and intrigue. The late 1940s was marked by rising tensions due to the Cold War. And the idea that the Somerton man was involved in espionage fits within this geopolitical climate, his unknown background, the presence of cryptic writings and the potential use of undetectable poison have all fueled speculation that he may have been a spy involved in international intrigue. Investigators discovered odd findings like tampered cigarettes and the possibility of coded messages which added to the theory of a secret of life linked to intelligence activities. Over the years many other theories have emerged regarding the identity and fate of the Somerton man, some propose he was involved in organized crime caught in a dangerous web of illegal activities that led to his demise, others have suggested more bizarre explanations including ideas of alien abduction or supernatural events illustrating how far speculation can go when faced with the unknown. Despite ongoing efforts to uncover the truth about the Somerton man's identity and circumstances, the case remains an enduring mystery that continues to fascinate the public, each theory, whether rooted in historical context or colored by romantic tragedy contributes to the complex story surrounding this enigmatic figure. The combination of espionage personal tragedy and criminal elements creates a rich tapestry of intrigue ensuring that the case will remain a topic of discussion and analysis for many years to come. Recent efforts to identify the Somerton Man have made great progress thanks to advancements in modern DNA technology, in 2021 Australian scientist Derek Abbott announced that he had identified the unidentified man as Carl Charles Webb, an electrical engineer from Melbourne, this breakthrough was possible through DNA analysis that linked living descendants of Webb, but many uncertainties about his life and death still remain. The identification efforts gained momentum when Abbott and his team used biological remains collected from the man's death mask which had hair samples preserved for over 50 years, this innovative approach allowed them to extract DNA enabling them to investigate familial connections that led to Webb being identified as the Somerton Man. The DNA analysis provided not just a name but also helped establish links to living descendants of Carl Webb. Using genealogical research Abbott and his colleagues constructed a family tree tracing relationships back to Webb, marking a significant breakthrough in solving the long-standing mystery of the Somerton Man, this discovery reignited public interest and offered hope that further investigations could finally reveal more about the man's life and untimely death. Despite this promising advancement many uncertainties surrounding Carl Webb's life and the circumstances of his death remain unresolved. While the DNA evidence strongly supports Webb's identification, questions linger about his activities in the years before his death, including why he was found on the beach without identification or personal belongings. Additionally, 
the cause of death initially thought to be poisoning remains unclear as toxicology tests showed no traces of poison in his system, therefore, while the identification is a major milestone it does not conclude the inquiry into the life or death of the Somerton man.